Hey guys, you're watching Simon and Lily. My name is AJ, and we are back on another episode of Let's Build a City, episode 46. And I've just hit my funny bone on my door frame really hard, and it really, really hurts. And I don't, don't know whether to laugh or cry at this precise moment, but I'm going to bow through it. Today we are at the beach. We're taking a break from the farm that we done last episode. We're taking a break from the train station we done the episode before that. Now, a couple of you mentioned about the train station. It's either that way. That's why I'm pointing that way. Uh, the train is a little big. A couple of you said that. I've been thinking that over the last few days. Last few days? Last few days. Uh, so that train might be destroyed. We might build a smaller one. I'm not sure yet. I'm still indecisive. Uh, but we're at the beach. A couple of you mentioned uh, to do a bit more at the ocean here and at the beach. That's what we're going to be working on today. And a couple of you said uh, you should add some more... Uh, like depth to the sand and I might do I might add like there could do with a little mound of sand uh, but they were saying to roughen it up a little bit and I know what you mean I know what you mean some beaches aren't completely flat like this you know beaches around where I am in the UK uh, aren't like this at all in fact most of the beaches around where I am uh, are all stone they're all pebbles uh, there's not an awful lot of sand at them but if you go to like California and stuff like that you know I don't know if California I'm, I'm not good with like American beaches <laughs> but like a, a really nice American beach will be perfectly yellow golden sand and uh, it'll be nice and flat and everything so that's the sort of model that I base this on I sort of base it on being a very flat beach someone just drove past my window in a tractor so I just looked it was quite funny so today we're going to be working on a yacht let's sleep away this night and get it to daytime so I was going through uh, a website called planet minecraft which has a lot of different ideas and it's a place where you can get inspiration from if you've got an idea on what you want to do but you're not quite sure what style and I was looking at boats and I, I wanted to do a boat and I was first thinking a sailboat but we'll save that for another episode today we're going to be building a yacht and it's going to be coming out of uh, out of our marina here it's going to be not a huge yacht but it's not going to be a small yacht either what we're going to do is we're going to sort of base it on this uh, this picture I have we're not going to copy it completely I don't like copying designs uh, but we are going to use some aspects of it at the end of the day it's just a boat um, there's not many ways that you can do a different boat, but we're going to do it grey and white. I think uh, a two-tone white on the top, grey on the bottom. And what we're going to do is together, I'm going to go around the sort of, uh, what do you call it, the water level layer. As it'll be the easiest, easiest layer for us to work out exactly how big we want certain things to be. So we're going to start off with the block and I'm going to try to do this in a tutorial way, as, as tutorial as possible at least. We're going to do four blocks. And then two blocks down. And then we're going to come up for two blocks. Then down for two blocks. Up for two blocks. Down for two blocks. Up for two blocks. Down for two blocks. And up for two blocks. Uh, and up for three blocks. Sorry. Okay. Like this. It's going to be a quite a big yacht. It's going to be a really nice size boat. A lot bigger than our fishing boats. See, these are our little fishing boats that we've got. Really cute little boats. We've got our jet skis over there. Uh, but this is going to be a bigger private yacht. One of the ones, one of the types of yachts that you can actually live on. So once we've got that, we're going to go along the top. And we're going to go one wide. Let's get a splash potion. Splash me. We're going to go one wide of that top on the top over there. And one shorter on this side. So it's sort of... That top one is uh, one left from the bottom one. What we're going to do now is we're going to come in and place that block there. And we're going to go how many blocks? Three blocks. Roughly three blocks, I think. Three blocks out and three blocks out on the top. And then we're going to go in again and do the same thing. Three blocks on the bottom, three blocks on the top. And then we're going to do a slightly smaller one. Just two on the bottom, two on the top. And then this one is going to be our middle point. So we're going to go out uh, three blocks on the bottom and, I don't know, four blocks on the top. Something like that. Sounds about right. Okay, so we start to see the curvature of the boat now. And we can match this up the other side. Nice and easily. I'll cut this bit out. Okay, and we've got the other side in. So, it's as easy as that. Now, for the back, I think we're going to leave the back until we've got a bit more of the shape in. So, we've got the two top levels. Now, obviously, if you're doing this in an ocean on a on an actual seed, you'll be able to go down a lot deeper than this. We're not actually going to be able to get the whole sort of bottom of the boat in because uh, the ground's right there. So, we're actually going to have to dig away some of the ground when we get down there. But all we're going to do is, oops, just a level in. 
we're going to place uh, some blocks just to uh, finish it off so it doesn't look like it's completely... Uh, we'll put that down there. Uh, we'll add another one. Let's take that one away. We'll add that one there and there. Perfect. Just so it doesn't look like it's floating on top of the water. I don't like it when they look like they're floating on top. So uh, do this down both sides. Dig, 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 uh, just got to match it up. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard doing boats because it, it's it's difficult sometimes to make sure that they all match up properly. Um, one, two, three. Oops. One, two, three. Perfect. So that's like the uh, the main shape of the boat in. Now on the oops on the top level. If I was on PC, we could actually do uh, a little bit more. We could um, use snow to sort of build up a bit more of a. A gradual level but we can't do that on here unfortunately we, we don't have the ability to do it so um, until an update at least so we're gonna have to work with full blocks and we'll probably use quartz slabs and possibly quartz stairs now they're not gonna blend in completely together uh, they're a slightly different texture but they'll be close enough if I used full quartz blocks here we get like an edge and I really don't like the sort of marbly look which is why we're using um, snow instead so we're gonna go one wider then our grey level, all the way down to, whoops, all the way down to where it's at its widest point. And then from here, it's going to be straight all the way down uh, to, we'll take those three away. Maybe we'll add one of those on at the end. And I think what I'm going to do is extend that like that. I think that's going to be a better shape for it. Okay. And we go down the other side as well. I'm trying to keep this video as short as I possibly can. Uh, but you guys have been claiming, uh, been complaining that I haven't been doing it in a tutorially, tutorially enough way. So I'm trying to count the blocks with you and sort of give you an idea on, on the exact shape and size of things. In fact, I have no idea how we're doing for time. <laughs> how are we doing for time? We should be fine, shouldn't we? Yeah, we're fine. Um, I sometimes lose track of time. Okay, so we're getting a nice boat shape in now, and what we'll do is we'll fill this in. We'll build this up a little bit with some slabs and stuff in a minute. But what we're going to do is two blocks in on the uh, the main side. So on this block here, we're going to come up and we're going to place a block there. And I think that's going to be a sort of a sort of the right location for it. Splash me! I don't think that even hit me. I think that was a waste of a potion. Okay. So this is the sort of bonnet of the boat. Do you call it bonnets on a boat? I'm not really a sailor. I've, I've been on one of those little boats that you rent out before, but I've never been on a big yacht like this. I'm not a fan of, <laughs> not a fan of them really. Okay, we're gonna go along the front here, and now we're gonna try and attempt to sort of build this out as best as we possibly can with the blocks that we have available. Um, something like, something like that. Okay, that looks good. And now what I'm gonna do is just in some spots we're gonna add some slabs just to give it a bit more of a gradual increase now we can if we want and if you guys want to you can use snow now on, on Xbox we can't actually like level these up on on PC you can level those up in increments we don't have the option to do it here but we can do something along the lines of that just to give us a little bit more of an incline and it gives us another texture as well it's a slightly different color and it looks quite cool yeah that adds that adds a little bit more to it. Okay. Splash me. Let's get our glass ready. We're going to need some glass. Now we're going to use full glass blocks. Usually I use panes when I do windows. But I think on a boat, you want it to be as flush as possible. You need it to be as aerodynamic. Do you call it aerodynamic when it's in the water? I think so. It's something like aerodynamic, isn't it? Okay. So from the back here, we're going to go one, two, three blocks. And on top of that, you're going to place one, uh, yeah, one, two, three, like that. And over this side, and then three down that side. And let's match up the other side. In the middle here, you should have a middle point. Always have a middle point when doing a boat. We're going to split up the windscreen so uh, it goes into two instead. And now we're going to come one block there, one block there, and one block there. Leave a gap of three, and then put one block there, and go up like in a like a corner shape, like so. It's hard to explain. It really is. I'm doing my best, guys. I'm doing my best. Okay, so we can put glass in here now. Dig, 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 dig. Dig, 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 dig. Okay, and we're starting to get a shape now. We're starting to get the shape uh, of the boat. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take these 
two blocks out and change these to grey because this is where our spoiler is going to be. We're going to have like a, a spoiler on the back. So we're going to come up oops, like this and do the same on this side. You can do this whatever colour you want. I just thought the grey would look nice. It's red on the one I'm looking at. But I think grey grey is just a more luxurious sort of colour. More of a silver, isn't it? Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to come in one block and then come out like this. If you've ever played a, like Call of Duty on the old hijacked, you'll sort of recognise that spoiler off the back of the hijacked boat. There's a big one on that, apart from obviously the hijacked boat is massive. I have built one though. There's one up for download on my channel. If you want to download the Call of Duty replica map, I have one. Okay, so starting from the back here, we're going to go all the way forward till you're one block on top of the glass. And the same on this side. So you go until you're at the first block of the windscreen. And then we're going to have slabs on the front here. Like this. Sweet. Perfect. Snow along the front, like this. Now, we can level. We can't put snow on top of these, obviously. But we can put snow on top of those. So we get a little bit more of a... Uh, of a gradual increase. Or you could put stairs there if you wanted as well. Stairs would work quite well. So we're going to come up to the back here. Now this top bit is going to be like a little area where you can come uh, and get, get some sun, you know, right on top of the boat. So we're going to have this on the top. We're going to get some glass panes for the top here. Like this. Oops. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now we're going to pick a, a block for our, our floor. And I think we're going to use spruce. This is a, it's a light colour. Uh, and we're, we're doing a very sort of light boat. These very whites and... and, and well, grey's a little bit dark, but it's bright enough. Um, take those away. Whoops. We're getting night time. That means we've gone more than 10 minutes already. Oh, God. Right, there we go. Splash me. And finish off this back. Perfect. How are we looking? It's looking like a pretty cool boat, isn't it? All right, let's sleep away the night. I shall be right back. Okay, so let's start inside the boat and at least get our floors down in here. What we're going to do is uh, one level or sort of two levels below the windscreen. So it gives us the ability to stand in here and look out. We're going to place another floor. Now we're going to do the same floor as what I had at the top here. Just so it sort of looks a little bit more universal. It looks like it's the same all the way through. And we're going to come out here. And we can even fill in up here as well if we want to. Ugh. You put glowstone in here as well if you want in these gaps here. To add some lighting. We might do that in a minute. There we go. It gives us a bit of a, a ceiling then. Now we're going to come out, in fact, hmm, let's go down a level. Let's go back here and let's get some stairs. Careful. And we'll go down one level here and that gives us a bit more of a, a dimension here. We will have a downstairs as well because this is going to be a, a sort of houseboat. You're going to be able to live uh, in here, even use it as a base if you wanted to uh, on your own survival world. I think that would be pretty cool if you lived in a boat. Let's put some walls up here. Um, we could have it three wide opening or a one wide opening. Um, let's have it three wide for now. We can always make it smaller if we want to. Okay, so we're going to go one block further out so we don't cover those windows. And then I think we're going to go down another level. We could do, couldn't we? Let's go down another level. Down to here. And along here. Excellent. Right, now these do cover these windows, so I might take those out. In my design, I'm, I think I'm going to take those windows out. Let's pop those out. Oh, we lost our grey wool. Ah, grey wool. Grey. There we go. And what we're going to do instead is we're going to poke one hole there and put a bucket of water in there, which releases the water out from uh, when, when it's gone in the boat. Obviously, when you're driving along in a boat, uh, it collects water from the front. So that's where we'll dispense it out of the back. And then we'll get some slabs to finish off the back here. Oops, they're not slabs. Something like that. And maybe for design purposes, we could do something like something like that. I think that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? So now you can get in if you're using this on a survival world. It's now possible to get in it. Excellent. So we'll close off this back now. We'll make this a separate room. Oh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Now we want only a one wide entrance on here. And only two high because we're actually going to put a door on there. A nice wooden door. Luxurious wood. Excellent. 
And it looks a little bit plain. It looks a little bit plain at the back here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to sort of fill it out a little bit by putting something like this in. Just to add a little bit more interest on the back, a little bit more shape. And you can put, we can put whatever we want. We can put some lights on there if we need to uh, and things like that. But I think I'm going to leave it like that for now. So we've now got the sort of shape of our yacht. It's a pretty cool looking yacht. And I think we need to start doing some details. So let's name the boat. Always have a name on the boat. Let's have the name there. And we should call this... Um, what's a really... A boat's got to be a lady's name, doesn't it? Let's call it the Juliet. Is that how you spell it? Juliet? Juliet. That's how we'll spell it. Juliet. And Juliet. Oops. Juliet. Perfect. How are we doing for time? We might have to split this into two episodes. Yeah, we might have to. Right. Now, we can do some more stuff. We can do the stuff like what we did on the farmhouse. We can get some... Oops. Some, oh, some trap doors. Thank you. Possibly some fence gates. Let's get them anyway. Um, some item frames. Um, let's get some signs just in case we want some more signs. Possibly some ladders we can have. Maybe some trap hooks. I don't know. Just grab a load of stuff that you can sort of plonk onto the side of the boat to add some more detail. Maybe some iron bars. Okay, let's go from here. So now we've got a, we've got a grey bottom. So maybe we should um, incorporate some grey buttons next to the windows. That's like little, I don't know, little um, what are they called? Um, I've forgotten the name for them. Like little spot weld type deals. Maybe have some. Ooh, what if we put them like that? This could be. Oh no, I don't like that. I don't like that. No, I don't like that. What we will do is we'll put one of those. On here and there and the same on the other side so you can tie the boat to the side of the uh, dock if you need to when you come into dock that'll give you the ability to tie it on the side we've got some signs here can we use any signs I don't really think we want to use signs or oh, maybe put them across the tops of the windows uh, up to the button yeah I like that I like that that gives a little bit of detail let's go along this side whoops no not there Aha, nope. Sweet. I think this would look good in blue as well if you've done a dark blue bottom and a white top. That would be pretty cool as well. Now, uh, wooden buttons. I'm going to place wooden buttons on the front here. Maybe they look like lights a little bit or something like that. Ooh, yeah. What if we get some snowballs and some item frames and we go along the top here. One, two, one, two. And we put some spotlights in. They look like spotlights to you. They look like spotlights to me. Okay. And we shall put some a trap door there. And maybe... Uh, we can't put a trap door on snow, can we? No, we can't do it there. Okay. That's okay. That just looks like a little uh, a valve or something on the top. Now, we've got ladders. We've got fence gates. Maybe we could put fence gates somewhere. I wonder if we get some string. Now, I haven't thought of this. I, I Or I haven't tried this idea so if it doesn't work don't blame me we'll just take it away don't even complain let's get some of that and some of this what do you think of that I think that looks pretty cool whoops not there what do you guys think let's have a look from back here yeah that looks pretty cool I like that I think we're gonna keep that one two three four five sweet and three along here Excellent. I'm using string below there. If you don't know what I'm using, I'm using string there to make the carpet flow up or appear to be uh, floating. Let's get some more wooden, uh, some more stone buttons or levers. I forgot about levers. Not TNT. Thank you. <laughs> Let's put a button there and a button there. I think that looks pretty cool. We'll do the same on this side. Keep it symmetrical. Now I've got levers. Maybe we could. Um, Place like a lever there and there to look like it's sort of uh, supporting it. Yeah, maybe on the inside as well. I like that. That looks pretty cool. Um, let's put these ones down like this. Point these ones. Oops, I want to put those away from us. These look like little engines or something like that. Maybe underneath it. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Can we do that? Yeah, they look like little propellers. Do you think they look like propellers? I think they look like propellers. So we'll keep that. Right. And we've got some stuff on the top here. Let's see if we can get some lighting in here. I think I'm going to use 
redstone lamps. And we can put, um, hmm, let's get some grey back. I want to put the light somewhere there, but I don't want to cover up. Like, I don't want to, hmm, one there and one there, maybe. Boop, boop. Yeah, that looks cool. Have one there. And let's have one near the front, towards the front, maybe there. Put this lever underneath it. Excellent. And that points the right way. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Got some lights on here now. Got the spotlights on the top. Excellent. Excellent. So, let's poke a hole through the top here so people can get up here. Oh, we can't have it there, can we? That's right in the doorway. Not a good idea. And let's get some ladders. Cover that up. We'll have it on the side here. Have a ladder going up here so they can get up. Onto the top deck, we can put some benches and stuff up here. We might furnish it next episode because we're sort of running out of time now. Um, and we've got to do the bottom floor yet. Yeah, there's going to be another level to this. But maybe we can do up here quickly if we're very, very quick. Right, inside, let's get some tables. Or what do you call it? They're not called tables, are they? What's the pop name? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not very good with that sort of stuff. Let's get that. And let's get some signposts. Now, apparently, you guys were telling me in the comment section below that they have increased or taken away the limit of the amount of, uh, whoops, of uh, item frames and paintings that you can put in a world. Now, I haven't, I haven't looked at that. I haven't seen that yet. But the reason why I haven't been using item frames and stuff is because the limit was so low. If they have taken that away, however, that will be very, very handy. In fact, we're going to use one now. We could even use two, maybe. Let's, um... I want to get a compass and a map. So we can have that there with a compass in it so we know what way we're going. And then let's have one down here with a map in it. Nope, with a map in it. Yeah! <laughs> what do you think of that? That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? A map there. It went in. Excellent. Now we need some levers. Let's get some of these. Let's get some of these and some buttons. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a... Well, they usually have the throttle control in the middle, don't they? So we'll have it on stop. I think that sort of means stop. Oh, how cool is that? Yeah, going into there. I like that. I like that. Let's have a button there and a button there. The same on that side. And some little lights here. You can push these and turn them off. Excellent. Um, and then in the middle here, I think what we're going to do is we're going to get some black carpet. Whoops. Nope, black. Just as a little countertop. There and there. Excellent. Now we are looking a little bit dark in here, so maybe somehow we need to get some lighting in here for next episode because it is very very dark. But yeah, this is going to be a sort of um, a sort of loungy seating area maybe, and then we can have like a ladder going down here maybe to match up the other side, going down to a bottom floor where we'll have this bedding, uh, toilet and, and and bedrooms and stuff like that and kitchen. Alright guys, we should do that next episode. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode. Bye!